from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. I have eaten some mushrooms. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. It's Likas 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course. That teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. At 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Joseph, you've just stepped into the classroom with your professor, Tom Likas. Hello. Yes, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Yeah, uh, I just got out of a relationship about two and a half months ago. And uh, I've been trying to see also, see what's going on out there. But uh, my confidence about talking to, to the girl was just like gone down because I've been in the Is that why you had a relationship? Because you have no confidence? Well, no, it's just that I've been with her so long that I just kind of forgot how to... to yeah, my question for you is, before we can get to your next girl, we have to deal with what happened in the past. Why did you feel you needed to be in a relationship? I don't know. I just... What do you just mean you don't on. know? You did it. I know, just... If someone was there, she was there for me. And but, you have friends there for you. You have family there for you. Yeah. Why do you need to be in a relationship? I'm going to give you the know. answer because you, have, you don't have the confidence, you don't have the game uh, to get girls on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. That's why you got into a relationship. Not because you loved her. Right? You're right. I mean, do you miss her? Well, kind of. I think about her still sometimes, but, you know, I, I want to... But is that because you there. love her, or is that because you don't have any way to get laid? Kind of a little bit of both. <laughs> kind of one more than the other. Yeah. You would like to get laid regularly. Yeah. But you can't because you broke up with your girlfriend or she broke up with you. Exactly. And let me guess. She broke up with you. Well, see, I kind of found her text messaging and uh, talking to someone else. So. so she got rid of you. Yeah. Or kind of like I got rid of her, but I, I found no, her. No, after her. she'd gotten rid of you. Uh-huh. Right? I mean, she was right. already interested in someone else and showing that interest. Mm-hmm. So uh, what you did was just a formality. She'd already gotten rid of you. Uh-huh. Right? When you caught her text messaging somebody else and you told her that, it, what did she say? That she's just friends from high school. They're just friends. Yeah. Right. <sighs> and so, see, we have to deal with this before we go to this. You, you have to make a, a, a promise to yourself. That the next time you're with a girl, it's not a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. It's not a relationship. The purpose of dating is to get laid. Can you do that? Yeah. Why haven't you done it in the past? I don't know. When we, when we started talking and then we started, you know, doing things together, it just one thing less led to another and we just no, no. Stuck together. No, what, the one thing does not lead to another. Uh, you make things happen. Okay. You wanted that. You're right. <laughs> so one thing didn't lead to another, did it? I guess it didn't. No, you made it happen. So you have to not make that happen next time. Mm-hmm. So and when you're looking around at uh, having another chick, you have to look at her as a, a place to get laid. Where's your dad? My dad? Yeah. Let me guess. Not around. You're right. <laughs> it shows. Yeah, it's just me and my sisters. And my mom. And your mom who told you oh, women need to be treated with respect and women need to be treated with caring and you have to be a, a boyfriend and you have to be considerate. Right? 
your A. Right. And the result is that you get crapped on. Yeah. Right? You're right. And she told you your dad is a jerk, didn't she? Yeah. Right. And that's why you don't even hear from your dad very often. You don't speak to him very often. Because your mom has you convinced that he's a jerk. Uh-huh. Right? You're right. Did your mom ever explain to you why she want to have children with a jerk? No. Uh, did you ever think to yourself that maybe because your dad was a jerk, that's why your, your mom laid down with him? No. <laughs> that's the part your mom left out, isn't it? Uh-huh. I mean, do you think your dad suddenly became a jerk? Uh, no. No, he was always a jerk. Your mom fell in love with a jerk. Your mom had children with a jerk. You need to be a jerk. Do, so, you, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, so basically, like, just being mean to him? Is that what you're trying to get at? I'm trying being to tell to you it's not so much being mean, although, yes, treating 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 the girls like crap certainly does work. Uh -huh. But what it is is being unreliable, undependable. Don't call at a particular time. Don't call when they expect you to call. Put them on ice for a couple of weeks sometimes. Always keep them off balance. Never let them believe that they dial your number and in half a ring you're going to pick up. Don't answer text messages. Just don't respond. Then they're fascinated. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, it does. Are you capable of doing it? Yes. Here's what you have to do, Joseph. You have to look at what, what you want to do with a girl, and whatever your instincts tell you, do the opposite. Okay. Ever give a gift to a girl? Like your girlfriend, do you ever give her a gift? Do I have, have I ever gave her a gift? Did you give her any gifts? Um, yeah, I got her something for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. You shouldn't even be around her on Valentine's Day. I also got her something on her birthday, too. Uh, a birthday. Another day you should be out of town or among the missing. Uh but those were like the only two times I ever got her anything, so. I don't care. You shouldn't have done that. Did you ever uh, take her out to dinner? Um, more like, kind of like, more of a lunchy, lunch time type of thing. Why should you, why should you be responsible for that? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I guess I shouldn't. You did it because you grew up in a household full of females who all told you this is the way you should be. Uh huh. You need to master being a jerk. Huh? Do you talk to your father at all? Uh, yeah. If I were you, I've recommended this to other guys who've called in. I recommend you spend a weekend with him. Uh huh. How far away does he live? Well, see, that's the thing. They still live in the same house, but I still don't talk to my dad a lot. Why don't you talk to him? Well, he's he's always, like, sleeping and just, like, never awake. Well, he's not asleep 24 hours a day. How does he pay the bills? He works sometimes. Well, was he sleep at work? Day. No. He, he sleeps... A lot, and he works sometimes, and and when he's not sleeping, he's gone at but buddy's houses and stuff like that. Your parents are still married. Yeah, they just don't get along. Yeah, that's who your mom wanted to have kids with. Think about it. You're right. All right. Uh -huh. So step it up. Okay. 
Stop being a jerk. Do you know what that means to be a jerk? I'm sorry? Do you know what that means to be a jerk? Yeah, like you said, don't answer back so quick. Don't just put them on cold ice. No gifts, no birthday cards, no taking them out to meals. Don't give them money. Uh No helping them out, no helping them move from one apartment to another, from one dorm room to another. No helping them paint, no helping them lift heavy objects. Okay. No fixing their car. I don't know what things you've done in the past, but these are all things you should avoid. Okay. No girlfriends. Okay. No falling in love. Okay. Are you capable of that? Yeah. I can give it a shot about being a jerk. I would give it a shot. Uh, g- yeah, yeah, give it a shot. All right, Joseph, you give that some thought there. Thanks a lot for the call. Can you attend my class? It is for your own good. I mean, a girl decides how far she's going to let you go in the first five minutes. You in my class? Oh, yeah, I am today. So how long do I wait to call? A day. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow, then a day. Yeah. So two days. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Definitely. Two days. Two days is like industry standard. Well, how long are you guys going to wait to call your babies? Six, Six days. days. How many times did you call her this week? Twice. Twice? You called her twice? Dan, never call abroad more than once a week. Never, ever, ever. Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. So we haven't gotten into a great depression yet, and that's yet. what we're trying to avoid. Yet. And that's where we're heading. The- With the shortest commercial breaks we've ever had, it's like it's 101 on the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. James on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. You are the man. Thank you. Um, I'm calling because uh, there's this girl who I'm real cool with, uh, but uh, it, it, it seems like, you know, we flirt a lot and, you know, she's got a dude that she, you know, has sex with. On the other hand, she does not do anything for him. She wants him to pay for her and do all that other stuff. But on my end, she pretty much spoils me. She takes me out. We go to the club. She pays. She pays for my drinks. Uh, she cooks for me. Everything. But the only thing is I don't have sex with her. Right, because you're her gay friend. No, that's not it at all. Yes. I'm not gay. I love women. I didn't and- say you're gay. I said she looks at you as a gay friend. But... On, on the other hand... You are me, asexual. Uh, well, well, we flirt around. Um, and even but plenty if, of straight women flirt around with their gay friends. But hold on, hold on, hold on. We also, we were close to to doing it. I, I think, on a sense, she could be teasing me, and I don't know why she'd be teasing me. Because you're her gay friend. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. What do, you, what do you mean? I'm saying once you let a girl be your friend, she looks at you the way she would look at any gay friend she has. But on a sense, a gay for uh, uh, a girl who knows the dude's gay, she wouldn't really flirt with him. Actually, like that. they do. They flirt with gay guys. Yes, they do. And they have all kinds of sexual flirtation, sexual tension, sexual comments. But I don't know if, if a guy doesn't like that from a girl, why would they flirt? No, he like doesn't that? like sex with a girl. Flirting is not sex. But in a sense, it, it's it's pretty much like uh, premature sex. No, it, it isn't sex at all. Okay. It can lead to sex. <laughs> I don't care what it can do. I care about what it did. So you think then that she is... So there's... There's never will be a chance that me and her will have sex. No, because you're in the friend zone. You know, a girl is buying you drinks and taking you out to clubs. You're her gay friend. (laughs) Women are the cheapest creatures on earth. If a woman is buying you drinks, it's because she feels uh, no obligation to you, that uh, she'll never have sex with you. If a woman's planning on having sex with you, she'll think, well, the least you can do is buy me dinner. The least he can do is buy me a drink or two. So let me ask you this: if it was if it was you, um, 
would you rather, one, be the guy that has sex with her and she treats you like crap and she wants you to do all this because she's a millionaire, so you, you do all this stuff for her, uh, or, on the other hand, would you not have sex with her? I want to be her? the guy who gets sex with her. And there is a guy like that. He's just not you. And... And the reason is, and now even though I can because get dating equals porking, the purpose of going out with a woman is to get laid. And every ask, not, and, yes, and, and I, know, I know you're not trying to get married. The one and only reason to go on a date is to get laid. Now, Tom, let me ask you this: How come you don't want to get married anymore? There's no benefit to it. Well, and and the reason why you say that is because you're bitter for marriages? No. Like, the reason I say it is because there's nothing you can get for being married that you can't get being unmarried. Well, you know, when people are together for a long time, when they, you know, because when you get to a certain age, you get tired of all that, this and that, and the, and the, and the drama. There's a lot of diseases out there. Well, you get to a point to where... James, I, I beg to differ because you've never gotten to a certain age. I'm 52 years old. But I have, I have been around a lot and of it, I don't care what you've been around. You say you get to a certain age. What age would that be, 30? Well, it depends on what you've experienced. Well, I'm asking you, what age is that certain age you're talking about in your I mind? Was, well, in my life, uh, I still got a lot of stuff that I need to accomplish, so I can't... Hello? So what age would you say that is? I would say on, on an average, well, for myself... Uh, I'm hoping to be established by the age of 30. So anywhere around that time, a little afterwards, that's what I hope. I know what you hope for, but you realize that one out of every two marriages ends in divorce. Understandable, but that's because... And, and by the way, you know how many people think they're getting divorced? None. Uh, every the people that get divorced right now, uh, uh, there's a lot of reasons that you know they had a kid, or you well, know, they, and you but, might do that. I'm saying marriage is not necessarily a bad thing. Marriage what is the benefit to you? It's a benefit to a lot of people. What is the benefit? I'm not talking about them. I'm talking to you. Yes, yes. What is the benefit? The benefit in getting married is, for one, it's a person that you can settle down with. You can, you, for number one, you can settle down with a person without signing a contract and agreeing to give them half of everything you'll ever earn. What's the purpose of living with someone for the rest of your life? What's the purpose not of getting married to them? What's the purpose of getting married? What's the purpose of that? You can live with someone, you can have a baby with someone, you can have sex with someone. What does getting married do for you? Well, how, how does having a baby and, and 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 being with them benefit if you're not married? Like what's the benefit? I know I'm thing? asking what is the benefit to you to get married? Don't ask me what the benefit isn't. What is it? The benefit to the, the benefit to get married is because, for one, you can be a lot more closer with your... No, your son, have you ever been married? Have I ever been married? Yeah. I have never been married. So, trust me, I've been married four times. And one thing I'm going to tell you for sure is you do not get closer when you get married. In fact, in many cases, you're driven further apart. Why? Because when you have an emotional investment in someone... You are afraid that that person is going to yell at you or fight with you or think less of you. And you find other people to confide in. That's why every woman out there has a best friend who's not you. So they can tell that person about you, the problems they have with you, the things they don't like about you. Let me ask you this. How long have you met the wives that you was with? How long were y'all dating? Well, it doesn't matter. One of my marriages was 10 years. Well, I, ten I, I, years. I believe, I believe ten that years. People rush things, and I, I think that you, you, you are not, to, son. Don't even try to be an expert in something you've never done yourself. I'm, I'm just don't saying, even try. <laughs> I tell him I understand exactly what you mean, and you no, are actually, you really don't. You're going to find it out by you're going to find out that the flame is hot by putting your hand right over the blue part. But do you see any benefit in getting married whatsoever? Not, not, not for a man. There are benefits for women. There are benefits for the children created. But for the man, none. Everything you get from marriage, you would get without marriage. Uh, well, I guess, you know, I, I the only way I'd know that is if I get married. Well, I'm, I'm trying to save you the pain and, more importantly, the cost of, of doing that. And, and, uh, the only way you would know the pain of jumping off a 20-story building is to do it. True. 
right? So if somebody said to you, you know what, your odds of living are slim. If I were you, I wouldn't do that. You'd be wise to listen, wouldn't you? You would be very wise to listen to that. Right. So what I'm trying to tell you is, you're sitting here, never having been married, trying to lecture me about what works and what doesn't work. Everybody who gets married thinks they're not getting divorced. Even if they've already been married and divorced. That's what they think. And 50% of them are wrong. But if you had a woman, right, who weren't the women that you married, and they treated you very good. Now, of course, in every marriage, I'm, you know, there's ups and downs. And a lot of times nowadays, there's a lot more downs because, you know, that's just how that is. But if you were to have had a woman, and which there are some generally good women out there, that did treat you good. And there, you I, I can't, I, why would you play? Why would you play Russian roulette like that? I'm, I'm just saying. There's you there's don't all. have to get married. You can just you have a girlfriend if you insist. You can live with someone. You can have a baby if you must. You do not have to sign a contract that requires you to give up half of everything you earn. Yeah, you don't have to do all that. You, know. you don't have to do it. Uh -oh. All right. You I mean, know. it's not necessary. <laughs> well, you're right. You, I, I agree with you on that. You know. So uh, that's is, why. Is there any way you can take me out, uh, Lacey Peterson? Lacey Peterson. I, oh. Although it's tasteless, I, I guess I can. Tom Likus, 1-800-5800-TOM, 1-800-5800-862, The Tom Likus Show. Likus 101, I am your professor, 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Renee of Like Us 101. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. How are you doing tonight? Do you care, darling? I always care, Tom. I always listen to you. I'm doing great. Well, good. I have um, a question. Maybe I, you can offer me some advice. I've been dating this guy for about a year and a half, and he's gotten to a point where he's thinking about marriage and children, and I'm not. I don't believe in marriage myself. My parents have been happily married for about, I don't know, 20, 30 years. But I just don't believe in that. I just don't think it's necessary. A paper's not going to secure us being together forever. Well, I mean, uh, clearly, if he wants marriage and you don't believe in it, you're with the wrong guy. But I still want to be with him because, I mean, like... But you can't. You, you can't. The intimacy, all of that is great, you know. But he wants something, but he wants something you don't. So how would I, like, break it down to him that, you know what? Like, you, have, you have to tell him point you. blank. Well, no, you can tell him that, but uh, how will you enjoy being in a relationship where he continues to nag you about this? Yeah. That's what he's going to do. So there's no real way but to break up with him or just continue dating and hearing him nag? Is do you want to hear him nagging? Not really. That's what you're gonna get. Mm. I mean, he's he not. Gonna, he's to not you every day. He's, he's not gonna change. By the way, I would tell him he shouldn't get married and that he should enjoy what the two of you have. Yeah. But uh, you know, I'm not talking to him. He doesn't have a problem with it. I'm talking to you. He's you probably have a problem. hearing you right now, and that's the thing. Like, I wish he would take what you say into consideration. Well, my opinion is that if, if you guys have this great relationship and you're having fun, and it's intimate and the sex is good and everything's great, I don't see why people can't just enjoy what they have. Life is short. Why are people in such a rush all the time to turn something into something that maybe you don't want it to be? I mean, if, you, if you're happy as you are, why can't you enjoy it? Yeah, I don't think it's necessary or even ever, like, there's no real good reason to even do it. There's nothing. Well, but the other, by the, by the, by the, now that was what I just said was really meant for him. Now what I really mean for you is, 
Why would you enjoy being in a relationship where someone wants something you don't? That's important. There's no way to compromise. You can't get halfway married or... I think I stick around for the sex, honestly. I think I do. Well, do you live with this guy? No, he wants to because don't. we used to live together for months and I just couldn't do it. it well, felt like why don't you tell him then you're not going to have a monogamous relationship? Tell him that uh, the two of you should date other people and date each other. He would threaten to say like he might do something to somebody else if he ever found out I went Great. with anybody else. He should. That's good. <laughs> Because that's the only way he's going to eventually get what he wants, and that is to marry somebody. Yeah. So that you should not discourage him from doing that. So I should tell him to date other people because he might find that girl. And so should you. Okay. And that way, the two of you continue to have married. the two of you continue to have great sex, enjoy the times you have together. It's a chapter in your life that will always be in your little book of memories. <laughs> and then someday he meets the woman of his dreams who wants to marry him. And you set him free. Um, say goodbye to that good sex then, I guess. Darling, there's plenty of guys out here who can I mean, get the job I mean, done. Be the woman on the side, you know, the mistress uh, to his marriage. Highly, highly not recommended. Uh, what I recommend to you, darling, is, you know, you live in a community of 11 million people, and that means about 5 million guys. So there's pretty much somebody meeting my standards out there. There's plenty of guys out there who can get the job done. Plenty of them. Okay, Tom, thank you so much. I love your show, and I'll always watch. Well, maybe you should try listening, because we're not on TV at this time. I always listen. Uh, I look at you on YouTube. What are you talking about? Oh, come on down and watch. <laughs> come on down? Yeah, come on down. Okay, well, when, maybe once, I when, once the two of you are, like, spinning in your own orbit, come on down. Oh, yeah, when I'm solo. Well, you pretty much are anyway. <laughs> Live alone. Tom, are you hitting on me? Because I like it. Um, okay, what does it sound like to you? <laughs> Sounds like we got to go on a date, Tom. Getting the job done, Renee. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Like Us 101. I am your professor. Let's say hello here to Rich on the Tom Like Us show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I uh, just had a story for that nice guy caller. You had a couple calls back. Yes. <laughs> um Five months ago, I was living in Fresno with my girlfriend and uh, came came to a point where enough was enough. You know, I broke up with her, got into college, ended up uh, getting into Cal State Fullerton. So moved here. As soon as I moved here, I uh, found out she was dating another, another guy. And, like, once I found this out, it just kind of tore me up. Like, I started sending her flowers, started calling her all the time. And uh, guess what her response was, Tom? No idea. She, uh, yeah, wasn't wanted nothing to do with me. I mean, there just because I was playing the nice guy, nothing to do with me. Uh, I went through a period. I was kind of depressed for a while. My roommate turned me on to you, and uh, I swear to God, it was like clockwork. I, you know, I took your advice, started posting pictures of me and other girls up on MySpace, and uh, two weeks later, guess who came knocking on my apartment door? I don't even know how she <laughs> <found the place. laughs> So, uh, to all you nice guys out there, yeah, just you know, take my advice. It, you know, I still care about her, but, you know, it pays to be a jerk. It yeah, absolutely <laughs> does. Definitely helps taking your advice. You so, just uh, got you. And by the way, don't you enjoy it more now? Excuse me? Don't you enjoy it more being a jerk? Oh, Tom. <laughs> yes, very much so. Of course you do. It is, yeah. It's, I like uh, it myself. I mean, it's it's so much easier going out trying to you know i used to go to clubs and stuff and i'd play the nice guy and nothing would ever and nothing would happen now you know i don't even need a wingman i just go out and it just happens chicks so. do not go to nightclubs to meet nice guys exactly. chicks go to nightclubs to drink so they reduce their inhibitions so they can do things that later they will regret exactly and you know i used to be the type of guy i thought you know my girlfriend oh she's the exception she's a nice girl out there <laughs> of course the most nice did. guy yeah. And, uh, yeah, I know, big mistakes. So, oh, yeah. uh, and, uh, you know, it's just all girls, I hate to say it, but all girls are kind of the same. Do you, you know, know how many women regret their time with me? Do you know how many women I did things with that to this day they look back in disgust? Oh, my God. <laughs> I, you want to be that guy. You want to be the guy she's complaining about to the nice guy. Yeah. You don't want to be the nice guy. Because exactly. the nice guy is going to get the missionary position, and that's all he's going to get. I, well, if that, I don't even know if the nice guy's get the missionary. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. 
All right, Tom. Hey, thanks for having me on. Oh, uh, one more thing, man. <laughs> Dude, that Lacey Peter thing was pretty tasteless, man. Yes, <laughs> I, I agree. It. Uh, it's completely uh, tasteless. <laughs> All right, can you kick me out uh, tribal style? Yes, Rich, I can. Baninge, 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 so finza. Baninge, 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 so finza. Sam on the top like his show like us one oh one with your professor. Hello. Hey Tom, how are you doing tonight? Doing great. Good, my friend. All right, so I've got a question based on uh, your one oh one schedule here. Now I try to obey by the laws and but when I'm going out this Sunday I'm planning to take a taxi from my house to the bar, taxi back to the house. How am I gonna keep this bill under the proper amount of money? How much is the cab ride to the place? It's gonna be about twenty bucks. Yeah. Well, I have never counted the transportation to a date and from a date and as part of the cost of the date. Even if she's with you or anything like that? Well, the, the, put it this way. You're going to meet her at the place. Does she have a car? She's going to be driving? Yeah, she's driving up to my place. She's driving to your place and she's taking a cab with you? No, no, no. No. She meets you at the place. Oh, that's better. That's way better. She does well, not ride the cab with you. Me off, huh? Of course. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. You just like cut it. the cost in half right there. Yeah, that's a good idea. I didn't even think about that. That's a good call. I like that. Yeah. Um, also, real quick, I'm going to be heading over to see you tomorrow, live event style. What should I be expecting? Am I going to be, uh, you know, are there going to be any ladies there? Or I have no you? idea what's going to be there. There's going to be a lot of people that want to win that trip to Vegas. I can tell now, you that's that. That's the number one reason why I'm going. I'll tell you the truth. That is the number one reason to come. Believe, I mean, uh, you know, it's not for my ego. If you can win a trip to Las Vegas to see Oscar De La Hoya fighting Manny Pacquiao, uh, that's the best reason to come see our show tomorrow. Well, I'm going to win it tomorrow, and I'll be sitting side ring with you in Vegas. Hey, would you take me out with an O'Reilly, then with the gunshot, and then with the Snoop Dogg? Because that's how I feel about that guy. Let's see what we got here. I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live! F*** it! Do it live! I can, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! F***ing thing sucks! Oh... Oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's like it's 101 with your professor at 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's say hello to Jessica on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How's it going? Great. Um, I will uh, try to make this as quick and easy as possible. I'm a little bit nervous, but um, basically, I have been in a relationship with somebody for the last four years. And he is 32, I'm 23, so we got together, obviously, four years ago. Um, everything was, like, going fine for the first couple of years. Um, we ended up, like, a year and a half ago, we got pregnant, and I had an abortion because we just decided that we weren't ready for that, um, which nobody's ever ready, so that's kind of a terrible excuse. But pretty much You don't need to that, make excuses here. You don't want to have a baby. Well, Yeah. Um, just, I'm sure there's a lot of people who's gonna, who will listen and say that that's a terrible thing, cause, well, whatever. Anyways, it happened and it's in the past and I feel really bad for it, but that is in the past. Um, basically though, after that, kind of everything changed and I figured it probably would. Um, I just didn't feel close to him anymore and... Why do you need to have a relationship at all? Well, I don't. So why exactly. have one? Well, because everybody wants to have a relationship. I, I don't think everybody does. Well, maybe not everybody, but a lot of people do. Uh, but, but but really, many of them should think about it. Well, you're definitely right about that. So that's I mean, what do you need calling. it for? Huh? What do you need it for? Well, because I would like to have a family and things like that eventually. And But this isn't eventually. This is today. Right. Well, you can't just, like all of a sudden do that kind actually of thing. Yeah, there are people who say the following by the way i don't agree with this but they do it anyway they <laughs> say well i'm ready to settle down 
or they say, I've had my fun. <laughs> People do it all the time. Right. But you haven't had all your fun. And no. you're not ready to settle down. No, and so that is true. And so we broke up, and we've been kind of broken up for the last six months or so. And it's kind of been a little bit off and on, but I've been out having a good time, partying, and hanging out with friends, going to bars, and, and really having a good time. Um, but all of that kind of seems a little bit empty without him now, eventually. But the big thing is... is You're having a good time, but it seems empty. Well, n now, because you don't have somebody to share it with. I mean, you can, there's only... You're so just a pussy because the holidays are coming up, and now you need a boyfriend to take home for Thanksgiving and Christmas yeah. and somebody to be with on New Year's Eve, so it's one of those things. You're having a good time until you realize the holidays are coming. It's really, it really has nothing to do with the holidays. Then what I is it? I swear to God. But you just said you were having a good time. Well, I was, I was having a good time. It's fun to go out and drink and, like, have casual sex with people and do that sort of Hang thing. Hang out with but, your friends and do whatever you want. Right. Don't knock that. Well, back to my problem is we decided, you know what, let's try and really make this work. There's been a lot of, like, things that have happened in the last six months big things that we have gotten over that were hindering us in the past. Although What things were those? Huh? What things were those? What, the big deal breakers? Well, the things you had problems with in the past. What were those? Um, trust sort of issues. What issues uh, are those? You were screwing around on it? No, I wasn't, actually. Who Was he screwing around on you? Um, no, he was So wasn't. the two of you were monogamous. We were. Because you told you told <laughs> you told Dean that you were cheating on this guy. No, I, well, I haven't gotten there yet. So I'll, we have our abortion, and then it comes out now a couple of days ago that both cheated in the last year after this had happened. So you were cheating. Well, yes, I'm sorry. Yes, but it just didn't fall into the part of the story where in my. That's mind, not the I point. I'm yet. trying to move it along, darling. You can't be on the air all night. I know I was trying to be quick. I understand. Well, that. I mean, my job as the host is problems. to expedite things here, and I'm expediting. Absolutely. So, that being said, both of us really want to work this out. Is there any way to work it out after we? What are you trying to work out? You're cheated. both cheating on each other. You're you're 23. You're too young to be in a relationship. Okay. And clearly, the two of you were not satisfied with that wonderful relationship you had. You both were not satisfied. Right. We weren't. You're so why are you in right. denial about this? I don't know. I don't know. It's just hard to let go of something that has been a big part of your life. You Come on. I mean? When you were riding this guy, when you were riding the guy you were cheating with like a, like a pony, you were not thinking one bit about this guy. Well, afterwards I did, though. I don't care. <laughs> You're right, Tom. You're usually right. Not all the time, but most of the time you are. I mean, you you, you know, don't be, uh, you know, you can lie to him, but don't lie to me. Don't lie to yourself. Uh, yeah, you're right. And I know that that's what's right in my heart, too, and it's just hard to let go, I think. Let go. Uh, you already hey, did I'm let go. You fornicated with another man. Right. How many times? Um, well, this is this. The sex was after we had actually broken up six months ago, but hanging out, having other like text relationships and things like that were before. Whatever. Yeah, I know. Hey, um, tell me it's ask love. You. I'm in love, but I love sending text messages to these other guys. But I'm in love, and I hate to give him up. But I had sex with one of them. Right. But I'm in love! But there is... What if we decide... This is why, darling, you're 23, and this is why I say you're too immature to be having a serious relationship. And this is why you are not ready yet to devote yourself to one person. And do you think anybody is ever ready to really do that? Well, I don't know if they ever are, but they're never ready at 23. Huh. Too well, young. 
then let me ask you this. How on earth does somebody go about becoming a Lykette? <laughs> That's a whole other question. <laughs> Become a Lykette, you, uh, I give out the mic check, and then we uh, do a little uh, testing, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Want to become a light cat? Testing. Check, 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 check. Mic check. That's how you become a light cat. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Will on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom, hey, it's Will. How you doing? Okay. I got an interesting one for you here. So I tell you what. There's this girl I used to date for a long time, a long time ago. And she's down in, um, she's working in a, in a foreign country down in Costa Rica. And uh, she and I just planned a trip to go down there. And I'm going to be visiting with her over the holidays. So I just paid for plane tickets, rented a house, paid for the whole thing. Why? I come to, uh, I paid for, I paid for my, for, for my half everything. Oh, you, and, didn't pay, you did not pay for her? Um, she's getting there on her own. But you paid for the house yourself? I paid for the house. Why? Um, I've got, I paid for it because I've got a great job. I've got the money to do it. That's not, but that's not your problem. Uh, by the way, we're in a recession. You need every dime you can get. Why would you let her take a vacation without paying for it? Um, I guess because she's um, she's doing volunteer work, so she doesn't make any money. That's not your and problem. So, not your I agree. problem. I agree. If she didn't meet you, she'd have to pay for her own hotel room. Already made all the plans, everything's paid for in full, and all that. Well, but I'm just them. saying that was a strike one. That was a mistake. Seeing some guy that she just met. Right, are you a tape, or are you actually talking after to me? We already planned. I can't hear a word I'm saying. <laughs> Sounds like he's playing a tape of another show. <laughs> that was one of my favorite crank calls I used to make. I used to take tapes of phone calls to other shows and play them. And the host would start talking to the tape. And finally, somewhere in the middle of the phone call, the caller would make a reference to the name of the other host. <laughs> That's what that sounded like. Another hour of Lycus 101 is coming up. Don't forget, tomorrow at Quiet Cannon in Montebello, you might win a trip to Las Vegas to see Oscar de La Jolla and Manny Pacquiao. Be there at 3. The Tom Lycus Show.